Hello, it's flow day. So today's the day that we push ourselves a little if we want. So we're gonna go through uh, some flow. Take your time, move slowly from posture to posture. Take breaks when you need to. Take your modifications. Go to child's pose at any time. So stand tall at the top of your mat. I'm gonna stay sideways for now, but you can just, I'll turn to the top of my mat so you can see from the side in a second. Stand up tall, press through your feet with your toes touching or about six inches apart. Lift up on your thighs and kneecaps. Pull your belly button up and in. Lift your shoulders up, back and down. Take big, deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Again, inhale through nose. Exhale slowly out mouth. Last one, let me hear you. Inhale through nose. Exhale out now, side out. Let your lips come together. Begin to breathe deeply, three to four seconds in through the nose, evenly, three to four seconds out through the nose. Settle into your mat, re-engage through your feet, your legs, your belly button. Tuck your tail, lift your crown, tuck the chin an inch so that your neck is long. Settle in, commit to your practice, commit to staying on your mat for 30 minutes. Commit to stay in the moment, come back to the breath anytime your mind wanders so that you can practice safely from posture to posture. Find your ujjayi breath, that sound of the ocean, maybe a whisper in the back of your throat. I'm blocking out the rest of the world. Staying in the moment. Using your breath to calm your body, to calm your mind. Bring your hands to heart center. Inhale, lift your hands up tall. Exhale, take a bend in your knees, forward fold. Let your head hang. Inhale, half lift, fingertips slide up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, press through your feet. Squeeze your belly as you slowly rise all the way back up. Exhale, palms to heart center down by your side, recommit. Inhale, fingertips rise up through center. Exhale, forward fold, take as much bend in your knees as you need. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, plant your palms. Inhale, press through your feet, squeeze your belly, slowly rise all the way up using your core. Exhale, palms to heart center and down by your side. Surinamaskara A, Sun Salutation A. Inhale, fingertips rise up, upward salute. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, flat back, your choice of how far your fingertips come. Exhale, plant your palms, step back into plank, top of a push up. Make sure your shoulders are over your wrist, everything is engaged. Take a big inhale. Exhale, lower your knees if you like. Hug your elbows in and go all the way to the earth. Nose, chin, chest, belly. Peel your head, neck, and shoulders up on the inhale. Cobra. Exhale, lower. Inhale, press up to table. And exhale, downward facing dog. Pedal it out, warm up your calves. Big deep breaths, press away with your hands. Walk your dog. Even breaths, even with your long inhale. And your long exhale. Now take an inhale, lift up on your heels. Exhale, press down, lift your hips. At the hip crease is a little bit taller. Settle your shoulders into the sockets so they're soft and away from the ears. 
one more deep breath. On your next inhale, look to your hands, bend your knees. Exhale, step to the top of your mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, press through your feet. Rise all the way up. Exhale, palms to heart center, down by your side. Next flow, sit down in your chair. Send your hips back. Send your arms a little forward. Gaze down. Can you see your toes? Tuck your tailbone under, squeeze your belly. Inhale, stand up a little taller, bring your biceps by your ears. Chair pose, deep breaths. Rise up if your knees bother you. Soften through your shoulders, soften through your face. Two more deep breaths. Engage your biceps and your triceps, arms long with energy. One more inhale. Exhale, palms together, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant your palms, step back into plank. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, lower your knees, lower your chin, chest, belly. Inhale, cobra with your toes flipped, pressing down to the mat. Exhale, lower. Inhale, table. Exhale, downward facing dog. You could pedal out. Stay here for a couple of breaths, settle in. Inhale, right leg rises, left leg anchors into the mat. Lift, turn your top of your foot inward. Hips are even, reaching long with your toe. Shoulders soft, pressing evenly with your hands. Take another inhale. Exhale, shift forward. Knee comes to chest, press up. Stay there for a breath. And then step your foot between your hands. If it doesn't make it, Work it up to the front of the mat with your hand. Get steady on your feet. Your feet are not on a tightrope, they're on a railroad track. A little bit separated. Bounce here, make sure you're steady. Deep breath. Then lower your back heel. This is warrior one stance. Press through your front foot, press through your back foot, squeeze your belly, square off to the front of your mat. Come up on your fingertips. On your inhale, rise all the way up. Warrior one, two breaths. One, two, one more inhale. Exhale, plant your palms, frame your feet, step back into plank. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, chaturanga, lower all the way. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, lower, curl your toes. Inhale, table. Exhale, down dog, two breaths. One, Two, anchor through your right foot. Inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, shift forward. Press through your hands, lift up. Take another inhale. And then step your left foot between your hands. Pause there, get steady on your feet. Take a bounce, make sure your knee is directly over your ankle. Chest forward and through. Deep breaths and your low lunge. Then lower your right heel. Your toes are turned out about 30 degrees chest toward the front of your mat. Press through your right foot, press through your back foot. Come up on your fingers, squeeze your belly. On your inhale, rise up, warrior one. Keep pressing through your feet, turning your shoulders, ribs, and hips toward the front of the mat. Take another inhale. Exhale, plant your palms on either side of your foot. Step back to plank. Inhale, shift forward. This time, lower your knees if you want, or stay up, lower halfway. Inhale, roll over feet. Up dog with your knees lifted or down for cobra. Exhale, roll over feet. Downward facing dog. Deep breath. One. Two. Lift your hips a little taller. Three. Let your head hang. Four. And five. Inhale, right leg rises. Exhale, shift forward. Step your foot between your hands. Pause there, get steady on your feet. Bring your fingertips so that you're lifted, so you know you're nice and steady. Lower your back heel. On your inhale, rise up, warrior one. 
pressing through the pinky edge of your left foot, sinking down into your right foot, hips, shoulders toward the front of your mat, fingertips turned inward, strong arms engage through your biceps and triceps. Take one more inhale, and then on your exhale, I'm going to turn my back on you. Open up your hips to the side of the mat. I'll be facing you when we go to the other side. So warrior one, your hips are forward. Warrior two, everything is lined up to the long edge of your mat. Take a big inhale and sink down into it. Right foot, toes toward the front of the mat. Left foot parallel to the back. Deep breath, arms reaching long, gaze towards your front middle finger, shoulders soft. Deep breath. Take an inhale, straighten your front leg. Exhale, lower. You don't have to go low. If you have knees that bother you, just do what you can. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Make sure your knee doesn't wobble in or out, directly over the ankle. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Drop your back fingertips. Flip your front palm. Take a big inhale. And then exhale up and over. Reverse warrior. Deep breath. In through the nose. Out through the nose. Use your Ujjayi breath. Inhale. Warrior two. Straighten your front leg. Give it a little break. Take another inhale, sink back down, warrior two. Then lower your right elbow on your right knee, flip your back palm up and over, extended side angle. Hips tucked under, knee directly over ankle. Don't dump into your uh, knee, but lift up, lift long. Top fingertips turn downward, shoulder, left shoulder soft in the socket. On your next inhale, come back up to warrior two. Exhale, reverse warrior. Inhale, warrior two. Straighten your front leg. Walk your tick tock your back foot in a little closer. We're going for triangle. If you have your block nearby, put it by your right front foot. It could be inside or outside. Mine's on the outside. Take a big inhale, reach your right arm long. Keep a slight, just a micro bend in your front right leg. Tuck your hips under. Take another inhale, and on your exhale, bend your arms as a unit. Bring your right hand down to your block. You can also use a water bottle or a hydro flask, anything that just kind of brings the floor up to you. Deep breaths, hips tucked under, pressing away with your feet, lifting straight up with your arm. It's like you could lean your back up against a wall. Triangle pose. All right, on your next inhale, rise back up, drop your back fingers, reverse triangle. Take another inhale, reach up and over. Inhale, back up to standing. Take a bend in your front knee. Grab your block or your water bottle. Set it up toward the right front corner of your mat. Bring your hand on your left hip. Make sure your knee is still over your right ankle. Shifting your weight a little forward into your right front leg. Step your back leg up. Make a little bit of a springboard there. Lift your back leg. Headed toward Half moon. Now try lifting your left hip open. Am I behind the door here? Opening through the hip. Half moon. The way to keep your leg up is engage through your left thigh. Flex your left foot. Put your foot down. To drop your toe down and lift back up if you need to. Take another inhale and sit it back down. On your next inhale, rise up. Take another inhale. Cartwheel your arms to frame your feet. Step back into plank. Lower your knees and lower back into child's pose. Deep 
breath. Your heart rate should be up, mind you. That was our little hit workout. All right. Come back up into tabletop. Curl your toes under. Press up into downward facing dog. Take an inhale, bend your knees, and then exhale, step forward, feet meet hands. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, full fold. Inhale, press through your feet. Rise all the way up. Exhale, palms to heart center and down by your side. Ah, let's let out some heat. Inhale. Ah, let it go. Inhale. Ah, let it go. All right, on the other side, I'll be facing you all. So here we go, press down through your feet, lift up on your thighs, belly, shoulders up, back and down. Here we go. Inhale, upward salute. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant your palms, step back to plank. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, chaturanga halfway, or you can lower your knees and go all the way to the floor. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, roll over feet, downward facing dog. Take a couple of breaths. On your next inhale, left leg rises. Keep your hips even, right heel anchored to the ground, hands pushing away evenly. Take another inhale. On your next inhale, lift your leg a little higher, then exhale, shift forward, knee comes into chest, press away. Another inhale, step your hand between your feet. Use your hand to work it up if you need to. If it lands back here, keep working it back up. Get steady on your feet, stay here. Long as you need to, so you feel steady. Feet on railroad tracks. Ah, deep breaths. Then whenever you're ready, lower your right back heel, your toes, right toes turned out 30 degrees, left toes toward the front of your mat. Get steady, come up on your fingers. Use your core. You can use your hands to press up or concentrate on your core. On an inhale, press through your feet, rise all the way up. Elbows, biceps by ear, shoulders soft, settle into warrior one. Pressing through your front front foot, pressing through the pinky edge of your right back foot, engaging through your right thigh. Belly button pulled up and in. Big smile on your face. Don't hold your breath. Take another inhale. And then exhale, open your hips out long ways toward the side of your mat, and then give it a little bounce, see how you feel. Maybe you're way up here, that's okay. Goal, one day, is for your thigh to be parallel to the earth. Pressing through the pinky edge of your right foot, right thigh engage, right foot pressing into the mat. Head and shoulders directly over hips, <clears throat> pelvis tucked under or down toward the earth, Take a big inhale, and then drop your fingers, exhale, lift up and over, reverse warrior. Soften through that left shoulder, pinky turn down and in, with energy through your left hand. Stay there for another breath. Inhale, back up, straighten your leg to give it a break. Deep breath. Take another inhale, and then exhale, back to warrior two. Take a little rest with your left elbow on your left knee. Flip your back palm. Take an inhale first, and then exhale, reach up and over. Soften through your right shoulders. Fingertips turn do downward. We're in this bent angle pose. Strong arms, strong legs pushing down. Breathing deeply through your nose. Coming to your ujjayi breath to stay in this more challenging postures. On your next inhale, rise back up to warrior two, reverse warrior. Inhale back up to warrior two, straighten your front leg. Tick tock your back leg so that your stance is a little shorter. 
right toes still directly toward the front of the mat. Your back foot parallel to the back of the mat, getting ready for triangle. So you have your block or your hydro flask or your water bottle up near your left hand by your left foot. So inhale, reach forward. Your body's all in one line in theory so that your shoulders are still over your hips. You're not leaned forward, you're not leaned back. Reaching forward, we're gonna work for a big stretch up this right side body. My arm's going out of the screen, you'll see it again in a minute. Take another inhale, remember micro bend in that front leg so you don't hyperextend. Big inhale, exhale, lower your arms as one unit. Find your block. If you have it, it can be behind or in front. I'll do it in front this time. So that your arms are stacked, wrist, shoulder, shoulder, wrist. Remember the micro bend in your front leg. Back leg is engaged, pressing into the mat. Looking for long body from your hip all the way to your head. Don't collapse through your neck. Lots of integrity. Deep breaths. Find your ujjayi breath. Sound of the ocean waves going in and out your nose. On your next inhale, rise back up. Exhale, drop your fingers, reach up and over, still staying in one plane, one big long line from your left heel all the way up. Reverse triangle. Nice, inhale back to standing. Take another bend in your knee there. So here's where we're gonna need our block again, going toward half moon. So bring your block toward the left corner of your mat. Left front leg is bent. Shift your weight forward. I'm getting close to my wall. So shift your weight forward so that you can lift your back leg comfortably. Not in the frame, here we go. Lifting my back leg, stacking your right hip on your left, reaching up through your right fingertips and wrist. If you get wobbly like me, just come back down and then try it again. If you know my husband, he says <laughs> that any posture with moon in the title is more, more challenging. <laughs> Actually, he uses the word hard. So engage through your right thigh, flex your right foot. Stack your right hip over your left, reaching long with your fingertips up to the sky. One more deep breath. Let it go. And then slowly, with control, lower your back foot and rise back up. Uh, now cartwheel your hands to frame your feet. Come back to plank. Lower your knees. Shove back to child's pose. Knees can be together or apart. Ah. Mm. Find your ujjayi breath. Find your word of the day to focus on. Maybe it's peace. Forgiveness, kindness to yourself and to others. Deep breaths. Round through your back. <clears throat> Curl your toes under. Press your hips tall to the ceiling. Take a gaze up towards your fingers, bend your knees, and slowly step to the front of your mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, press through your feet. Rise all the way up. Exhale, palms to heart center. Come down by your side. Let's do a little balance, and then we'll wrap it up. Coming into tree pose. So shift your weight into your left so that you can um, bend your right knee. Just get steady on that left leg, maybe engage through your left thigh. And then turn your knee out to the right. The purpose of tree is to gain strength in your standing leg, and it's a hip opener through the right, but also work on our balance. 
All right, so you can pause there. Where are you gonna plant your tree? Low to the ground on your calf or maybe lift it up to your inner thigh. <clears throat> Wherever you are, your knee is open, in theory 90 degrees out to the right, and you're pressing, no matter which position you chose, you're pressing the bottom of your foot toward the standing leg. Option to keep your hands on your hips or bring them to heart center. Pulling in and up through your core to lift you up, to hold you up. Not just your roots, but everything reaching up. Option to lift your hands, grow your tree. Find a spot for your gaze, about six, they'd say about six foot in front of you and on the ground. And it gets more difficult if you look off into the distance. Keep pressing your foot against your leg. Keep lifting up. Take another inhale. Then with control, bring your knee to the front and slowly set it down. I recommend if you start like wobbly and flailing, just start over. Don't try to recover from the flail. Just come back to standing. It's less likely that you'll injure yourself. All right, take a big inhale through nose. Exhale, let it go out your mouth. All right, bend your left knee, open to the left. Think about pressing your heel against your ankle, your shin, or your inner thigh. Engaging through your right leg, really pressing everything inward, up and in, to get that strong balance. Lifting up, everything is up. Big inhales, find that spot for your gaze. Soften through your shoulders, soften through your face. Turn up the corners of your mouth. Enjoy how strong you've become just through these couple of weeks of doing yoga. Big inhales. Big exhales. One more inhale. With control, bring your hands to heart center. Bring your knee to the front and slowly set it down. Come to standing for your standing Shavasana. Option to lie down if you want. Come back to your breath. Where can you relax in this standing posture? How can you practice so that when you're in line at the grocery store or at finance or at the bank, can you control your breath? Can you control your emotions? just by taking long, slow, deep breaths, relaxing through your feet, through your legs, through your belly, through your shoulders, big inhales and big exhales. Now let your breath come to normal. Option to bring your hands to heart center or keep them low. Keep your eyes open if you need to for balance or maybe try closing them. Gently drop your chin to your chest in gratitude, thanking yourself and your maker for the opportunity for a strong body that you can use for so many things. Namaste and blessings, friends.